Hi everyone. I'm just setting up my uh, Facebook first. Uh, didn't get time to set up my Facebook, and then I just uh, <laughs> before I click the li go live on uh, YouTube. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> that only happened. This is the first time that happened. Uh, now we're going to talk to talk about. Uh, um, I'm going to need on myself today. Is my uh, treatment time. Treatment time. I'm going to. Uh, so if you, you know, you want to go to our Facebook as well. Our Facebook page is. You probably can't see it, can you? Yeah, over here. Oh, it's actually your position. Sunam Balance Methods uh, Spirit G Acupuncture page. That's my Facebook page. I'm going to do a live from here. All right, locate on center of balance. Okay, now very quick, we're gonna start. Oh, we got four people up there. Could you please let me know what? Say hello to me and give you a thumbs up. And we're gonna, I'm gonna treat myself tonight using two scalp acupuncture and tan scalp acupuncture for shoulder pain. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you where the point is, and I'm gonna show you uh, the two scalp acupuncture uh, map for shoulder and the unscale acupuncture map for shoulder. I'm gonna show you how needle then. Okay. Right. Right. Welcome to Sinan Point Live and. Acupuncture one, two, three, live. Now, today's topic is about uh, using scalp acupuncture, uh, two scalp acupuncture, and uh, uh, Dr. Tan scalp acupuncture to treat shoulder pain. Now, the shoulder pain is in here. Let me show you. Uh, firstly, you. Oh, I wonder if my needles. I haven't got a small one, but uh, let's see. Do I have others? Yep, I got some over here. Right, but show the pain, right? Uh, if it is um, frozen shoulder, if it is just pain, easy to treat. If it comes to um, range of moment problem, like it sees up and they can't move. The arm they can't move the arm and when they move the arm it's painful and that's difficult then but i still have a strategy a very good strategy which i show only on my workshop you know only on my workshop that i needle using uh, balance method acupuncture a lot of people use it too uh, but a lot of people find it difficult to get to the point if you get the acid point and needle it and you'll find that it doesn't work well. And how do you get to the point? And unfortunately, I'm not going to talk about that in this video, in this live, you know, because I only teach it on my uh, workshop. If you come to my workshop, I'll show you that, all right? Because I promised that for my uh, 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 students that I won't uh, take it. You only, you only, you, you, when you come to my workshop, you definitely have this contents, but I won't share it on the public. So I keep something that's valuable for, for them. Otherwise, they won't come to me and they learn it and they say, well, why do I pay you to come to a workshop if you do it on free and we pay you, we still have to pay you and you do it on a free and that's not fair for them. So I keep that uh, frozen shoulder uh, using balance method acupuncture for just people who pay me, all right? But for you, I'm gonna show you, that still work too, you know? It still work too, but it's a bit slower. Because I tested out all this, you know? I know which, what worked well, what's not working well. But, uh, C point. Uh, hi, this is Dr. Satya, YNSA acupuncturist. Oh, great. YNSA means a Japanese one, right? Good on you. Um, so if you're on Facebook, please give me a thumbs up and say hello to me and let me know where you come from. 
if you're an acupuncturist, uh, you reply one. If you're acupuncturist as well as herbalist, reply two. If you others, please reply three. All right. So one is your your acupuncturist. Two, you are acupuncturist as well as Chinese herbalist. Three, neither of them. <laughs> I just would like to know where you come from and are you an acupuncturist or not? Okay. Uh, please reply me and give me a thumbs up and so share this video as well on Facebook particularly share it and let your colleague know that I'm here to do a, a live video to share all right um let's talk about you're gonna do all you know first before the acupuncture you always test out range of movement right and what's the pain out of 10 you know and do this movement this and this are reaching back and compare with the other side okay and find out which meridian if you're using balance method acupuncture but when it comes to scalp acupuncture the meridian uh it doesn't really matter which the, the sick meridian doesn't really matter okay um hi yogis yogish yogish vanu vanu from india Nice to meet you. Yeah, you've been uh, com commenting uh, my video and, and thank you for that and thank you for supporting. Um, now, let's talk about the area, okay? I'm not going to show you uh, Dr. Chu's uh, scalp acupuncture for exactly way, way, uh, how to locate it exactly, okay? But I'm going to show you a quick one. This is how I do it in my clinic, okay? Because uh, Dr. Zhu is, is, uh, is still organizing her uh, uh, scalp acupuncture uh, uh, workshop, right? And I'm not here to teach you exactly how the location is, but I can give you a tip how quickly to uh, uh, go to the point, right? It's an area as well. I'll give you much bigger area because I find that if you just go to what Dr. Chu's original map, you know, it will still work. But if you extend the area, it will work better. I will explain why is that. Grease, acupuncture, and herbalist. Thank you. Thank you, thank you for letting me know. Uh, Dimitris. Thank you. Uh, I think your first name is very long. I'm not quite sure how I pronounce it. <laughs> so I better just say uh, your last name, that, the, the one that I, I can recognize and pronounce better. Right. I'm from Malaysia, and I'm Malaysian Chinese. I'm not very good in English. I hope you can understand all my accents or whatever. Now, that's, um, so Bai Hui, Tu Chen Ti, and Shen Ting over here, which is the headline, okay? If you go to headline in, by Hui, right? You go, uh, cut it for not half. Um, how do you go? Just separate them in three pieces between here and here, by Hui and Sun Ting. Separate them in three pieces. And the, the third, the third, the one third in the front, in the front, and that is about. Uh, the point for uh, arm, all right? So it actually go to the side like this, and from this one, go to the stomach meridian, pointing to the stomach meridian. It actually go from here to here, right? You go here and here. From here, this is the third of the heart. Go to... The stomach meridian over here, the point toe, we call toe weight, I don't know about the English code. And here, right? It's about in here. That is the area of upper arm. Right? Then what happened in here? I want you to do about two or three fingers over here. Cover this area. I find it in my clinic on my patient. If I just needle in here, it may not work well. Right. You can needle here, because Dr. Chu just needle here, one or two needles over here, cross, go, pointing over there, like this, the needle going, pointing, the needle pointing like this, going that way. 
right? When a needle going that way, you need to do Taoing. Do a lot of Taoing. Spend a lot of time to do Taoing. But if you find the Asu point, you know, you extend the area and you get the Asu point. Once you get the Asu point, and needle the Asu point. And that's not good enough. If you want to needle the Asu point, you needle the Asu point. Then you, you do, if that's the area, right? I say this is the area. Well, I'll put up. You needle here, here, here. And again, we talk about every direction. You want to cover all this, right? You can go there, 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 and there. You see what I mean? So if you cover all this area, if you can get the answer point, you cover the area. If you can't get the, sometimes you get the answer point and you get the answer point, you don't need to cover the area. You just need the answer point and it will immediately, if just for pain. If it's just for pain, right? This is Dr. Chu's acupuncture, right? Well, I think I did something wrong. All right. Now, uh, if you don't get to, uh, if there is no ask the point, get the ask the point is very important. But some people they don't ask the point. That for me, I don't have ask the point. If you don't get ask the point in there, you must cover the area. Even though you get ask the point, if you cut, if you need to ask the point, it it doesn't work well. Cover the ask the point and cover the map. You know, cover the the area. When you cover the area, it may work. It may not work right. If it works. That's good. Congratulations. You got the point. If it doesn't work well, then you go three three different level. On the top, you know it. Every direction you go three different level. Right? On the top, middle, and touch the bone and go in. That's three different level on each side. And I want to tell you this. I found that technique, you know cover all this technique on any acupuncture scalp scalp acupuncture and that work because i learned jiao before jiao scalp acupuncture and you do this because jiao scalp acupuncture it need to go to the deepest one go to the bone always go to the bones right but for two it doesn't need to go to this bone because two is relying on Taoing, mostly relying on Taoing. it need it doesn't go to the as the point you just need it and do a lot of Taoing. But again, Taoing take a lot of time. Taoing take a lot of time for four, right? That is why I love to test it out each step and ask my patient how they feel. You know, if pain's gone, that's it. But I do have to tell you, mention that if it comes with range of moment, if shoulder pain, frozen shoulder, particularly with pain or in the end, they don't have pain, it just can't move. You know, you definitely want to cover the area, then do the Taoing. Okay, Taoing is still important, but if the patient just have having pain, suffering from pain, you don't need to do Taoing sometimes. You just need to do the right point instead of doing Taoing. That's my opinion, right? Asu point are the pain point of the meridian. Yes, Asu point is the pain point on the of the meridian or on the area. That I just show you that, okay? If you want to know exactly how Dr. Chu's scalp acupuncture, uh, how to, all the map area is best for you to go to uh, the um, his workshop. He's still te teaching and James uh, from America, he's teaching as well, you know? So it's best for you to go to there, right? I'm just, because I learned it and this is how the area works and I want to show you. And again, I don't show you exactly where the area is. I just show you approximately. And to be honest, in my clinic, when I go to the exact point, I have spent time to do Taoing. But if I don't go to, to the point, I go to that area, you know, simple. Dun, dun. And that is the upper arm area. So I put arm three fingers over here, this area. The needle go there, it doesn't go actually here. The needle go there, that way, all right? All right, this is a true scalp acupuncture area. Now, what about Dr. Tan's 
uh, scam acupuncture area. And it's simple too. It's so simple. Uh, you see the here line under here? This is the arm. This is the hand, right? The hand go to here and over here. That is the trunk. You know, the trunk. So arm connect to the to the trunk, right? To the trunk. So which means over here, both sides come over here, connect to the trunk. So the arms over here. You see the arms over here. And uh, the shoulders over here. All right. Now now we need to know whether the shoulder is actually in and here on the uh UB meridian or it's in on the um what on the uh GB meridian. That's something that you should find out yourself. And but I'll tell you, I would say that in on GB meridian. Okay, but the point, the acid point, it may come across to UB meridian or sometimes even closer. Why is that? Look at here. The pain is in the arm. If the patient feels pain in the arm, it can't go any further. Okay. It restrict all the muscle over here, or even over here, and then connect to the neck. So you'll find that all the sensitive point from here to here, right? This is the shoulder, but it may come to closer to the UB and GB, or UB and GB area, and even lower, or even closer to the two meridian. I'm letting you know, don't just go, okay, you'll be, right? Uh, GB over here and here, um, um, this is the point for uh, shoulder and you just try to press all the point on the shoulder. If you can't, can't find out the point, uh, if you don't get the answer point and you don't know where the needle, still needle it in here instead of just doing the acid point over here, you want to extend to this area, about two fingers or three fingers, okay? Extend to that far. This is the area. Okay, this is the area. Why the acid point over here? You can use your thumb. This is easy. Just go, it's quick. Just ask a patient whether there's any tenderness spot. Just quickly go, or you can use two fingers. Just go along. If they can't feel anything, just needle the uh, uh, needle needle over here and here along here. All this um, map, all the image, in needle or the image over there. Then once you needle or image, how do you needle image? Same thing. If that is basically the point is over here, right? So from here, you want to needle in, in. This is one, one level, okay? On one level. And you can cover one needle, cover on the side, on the side a little bit. Different direction on the middle, pointing over there, and pointing over there. You want to cover the area rather than just one point. If you can't find the acid point, even though if you find the acid point and it works already, then you just extend to different area, right? Cover the whole area, and it will work well. This is my experience, and it works very well. It works very well. Then what happened next? If it works, okay. Pen still there. How do you do that? You know it's working already. You go three different level. The three different level in Chinese called Tian Ren Di. The Tian Ren Di called San Chai. It called Sky, Human, and Earth. Tian Ren Di. Okay, simple. All right. Now, as I mentioned before, when it comes to scalp acupuncture, when it comes to scalp acupuncture, you want to know uh, over here, much less pain. When it goes to the side, more pain. 
they're more sensitive. You know, go to the side, more sensitive, go to here, more sensitive, right? Now, I normally use very small needle and sh uh, short needle, which is uh, 16 16.16 times uh, 15 mm, right? 0 0.16 times 15, and then I run out of all those needles, so I just do uh, 0 0.25 uh, times 25 mm needles, okay? It's about that. That is the different. I still have two of them in here. That That's what I normally use, and that's the longer ones I'm going to use it today. You see the different. Uh, you probably can see it probably, can you? Uh, try to figure it out. Okay, paper over here. Okay, you probably can see the needle better than here. <laughs> it's still not good, eh? So those two different links. You see? Two different links. The shorter one is not where what I normally use. But I'm gonna use the longer one today. Um, if you can't cover the whole area with short needle, you just line up the needles, right? Line up there. So I'm gonna do uh Dr. Tan's scalp area, okay? And it's just it's so simple. Um, so I test it all, because I've been needle myself, and I haven't got shoulder pain, so I won't have any sensitive point over here. But by saying that, um, you know, this is a shoulder point, but I don't feel in here at all. And I don't feel any of that. But by saying that, I feel a little bit sensitive in here, actually. So I'm just going to needle in here, right? So when it comes to forging shoulder, you know, it's not just the shoulder. <laughs> the pain can go up, down to there, you know. So sometimes you want to needle down the arm as well, or even in here, you know. And that is so sensitive over here. And I have patients who have um, fracture um fracture arm and as soon as I put needle over here and it's just one needle I go in I do just one one label in three different direction and she couldn't move up her arm because as soon as move her arm up she felt pain over here and up to here I just put two two needle line up this because I I can literally get uh, the acid point up there so I put one needle over there like this, this, and this, and I put it in the middle. And I put another needle over here, 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 and I uh, uh, put a needle in the middle. And I asked her to do her arm. And then she, she said, fascinating. She said, I don't get any pain, but which I, I always get them to test out. Before I needle, I ask them to move, you know, to find out the pain on which exercise, which movements that they suffer from pain and what is the pain level. So they always tell me the pain level first and what I always test it out first and then I put needle in and ask them to move again and ask them pain level again. That's how I test out that, that it works or not, right? So if I just do the math, just needle in and lift the needle there and without doing dowing and they, they oh, the pain still there. And I had to get, I had to stimulate the needle and ask them to move, 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 and the pain start to decrease. If I, when I say I don't do dialing, because with Dr. Uh, Chu's scale acupuncture, he put needle there, and he, he often, he, he taught us to keep stimulating the needles and get patient to move. It's a great method, but if I get the acid point, I put a needle, I put, I cover the area, and the patient, as soon as they get a, the arm up, the range of movement better, and the pain's gone most of the time, okay? Then I still get them to dialing, which I tell them, hey, you need to get up your hand and put it down for 10 times and raise 
for five minutes and repeat that process. 10 times, stop, five minutes, and 10 times, I will wow the needles, then I walk out. I don't be in there to stimulate the needle and ask them to move and move and move. Be smart, cover the area, and it will work beautiful for you. Doesn't matter what sort of scalp acupuncture. I test out an, an other style of acupuncture, uh, scalp acupuncture, and it works the same. Uh, does thickness of needle matter? It doesn't matter. It doesn't really matter. As long as as soon as you you cover the area, the the key in here is you cover the image. If you can find first, if you can find the acid point, the sensitive point, you needle the sensitive point. Then secondly, cover the area. Even further, three different level right once you get those in you'll find that any scalp acupuncture works but when you do this technique in there everyone can do that it works even better and you save time to ask them to move their arm to do the the physiotherapy movement you save a lot of time to be honest can i watch this again later i love love this information but homeschooling kick by now <laughs> that's great runa yes runa you can go on the facebook on, on the top the uh, uh youtube channel click the youtube channel and subscribe to our, our youtube channel on our youtube you can see all the video all the video and facebook too much information and you want to get to this this video is a bit difficult, right? Yes, you can rewatch this. Needle thickness thickness doesn't matter at all. Doesn't matter at all. Okay, I use 0.16. I love 0.16 because it causes much less pain for my patient. If you got enough, uh, you know how to control the needles. The thinner, the better, because patient they don't need to feel any pain at all. Right? I'm not using the strong stimulation to create the effect of the uh, acupuncture, right? No, I'm not using that. But in child scalp acupuncture, which we we, we, we learned it from school, we only, we mainly learned uh, child scalp acupuncture. And when I, um, in the hospital, we did that. And, and mainly do st strong stimulation to get patient uh, uh, a better recover. Do you needle at the same side of the pain? Yes. A good question, uh, Vivian. You asked this. Have you ever tried, you know, on the map, you do the same side for Dr. Tan's word. Have you ever tried to do it on the opposite side? You try it yourself. And when I do it on the opposite side, it works too. When the same side works, and I don't do three layer, I go to the opposite side and I put, I get the acid point and needle it. And I cover the area, it work even better. Which means, and here on the scalp acupuncture, doesn't matter which side. But when Dr. Tan show us the, the area, it say work on the same side. If it's right arm, you do it on the right side. Left arm, you do it left side. Yeah? But I test it out, even if it's the right side, I don't do it on here, I do it on that side. And it works too. I test on my patient and it works too, right? And guess what? You welcome, uh, yeah, you welcome uh, the mystery. Um, even though you, we know if you learn balance method acupuncture, we, we use leg to treat arm, right? So have you ever tried that the map that's saying that you can treat here on the Dr. Tan's scalp, here is treating the leg, right? Can you treat the leg when it's arm pain? Can you treat the arm and uh, treat the leg map image on the leg to treat the arm? Have you ever tried it? I've tried it and it works too. Fascinating, right? It works too. You try it, right? 
you try it and let me know whether it works or not. It's still, which means it gives you a lot of uh, uh, point, image to, to choose. Let's say, I will talk about, uh, let's say about uh, Dr. Tan scalp, okay? If I'm pen over here, first we can needle over here, shoulder right on the arm, and we can needle over here, and we can needle the legs over here, and the legs over here as well. So you can use one, two, three, four, which a lot of people only think about, oh, because the master say, when there's the right arm, left arm in here, you needle on that side, on the same side. But in my cleaning, I test it out, I use the opposite side, it works. I use the leg image to treat the arm, it works. I use the opposite side of the leg to treat the arm, it works too. So open your mind and test it out because when it comes to scalp acupuncture, different scalp acupuncture master taught you different maps. And I want to tell you, they are a great master and they've been practicing for. 20, 30, 40, 50, 70 years only for scalp acupuncture and they prove that works. Then you don't have to doubt it. You just use it. Just copy and add on what I just show you all the technique. It works. Then I expand it. I expand the map. Make, make the area, the image bigger and needle it. Then I also cross over to other side of the hand of the arm image to cover the, the area and it works too. And I also go over to the leg image to treat the arm and it works too. You know, especially when you get to your other point, it works even better. Okay. Dr. Chu system works opposite side yeah um depending on how you look at dr chu's system though both sides will work if you try it try it yourself in my experience both sides work sometimes if you find the acid point on the same side you don't find the acid point on the opposite side you find the acid point i will suggest you needle the opposite side. If even though, it, look, look at this. Dr. Chu's work on the opposite side, right? But the Dr. Tan's one work on the same side. Which one is right? I would say both are right. You just test it out. Some patient on the opposite side, some patient on the right side. All right, let's needle it now. Okay, so I don't have any shoulder pain, but I should needle here, actually. Uh, then I have tenderness spot actually lower. So I want to tell you, this is not my shoulder, but <laughs> it's lower, okay? I have pretty sensitive point over here. As you go to here, just about everyone, even though they don't have pain, they have sensitive point over here very sensitive. So instead of needle my shoulder, I'm gonna needle here, okay? Get the other point. So I expect more pain in here. As soon as I needle in, I, I feel a bit painful. Okay. Just gentle. Now needles in now. I'm gonna do, not directly go in down here, not going, not going down there. Instead, I'm going to the front first and then to the back and then go to the uh, straight down to my ear area. Okay. So to the front. So I'm going to do this. You see my hand? Going to do that way. So this is cover the area. Very sensitive. Just needle slowly. Okay, it's up now. Go to pointing to the back.
Okay, then out. Then pointing directly go down. Straight down that way. That's how I say it. Three different direction. You can do four or five different directions. It's up to you. It's up to you. And normally just keep it three. It saves me a lot of time. Okay, that's it. Now, if you cover here, if that is shoulder pain, then you can ask the patient now to get, well, I do feel the pain. You know, when I talk, I feel the pain. So when I talk, I feel the pain, what do I do? I actually, this, this is a good case though, because patient will do this. You ask the patient, talk, you ask them, and they, they answer you, your question, and they start, oh, it's painful. Then what do you do? Lift it out a little bit. Lift it out a little bit. And, okay. I don't feel it now. If you put your hand over here and you start to talk or you start to like eating movement, you feel that all here is moving. You know, that's how it causes the pain. Because it's moving, the needles over there, it keep moving. Right? So you lift it up a little bit more. I find if you use small needle, it won't happen that much. Okay. If I crunch my teeth, I can feel the pain as well. I still feel the pain, so I lift it up a bit more. That's how it causes headache because your patient is gonna go back if you lift the needle. The patient go back and they work and they communicate with the colleagues and they go home and they talk to kids and husband and while they talk, 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 and that build up and that causes a lot of pain and they start to get headache. That's how scap acupuncture can cause headache too. So if you don't know how to deal with it, as soon as the patient start to feel the, the, uh, uh, any discomfort, ask them to remove the needle. Okay, I can still feel a little bit if I crunch my teeth, which is not good. You don't want that happen. Definitely don't want that happen. You don't want to leave the needle there and keep working. You want to take it out even further. You want to take it out even further, pull it out even further until the patient can feel any sensation of the needle. And then while well, you can leave the needle there, get for them to get the needle home. Okay. So now I talk, I can't feel the pain over here. No tight muscle over there. When I crunch my teeth, I can really feel it. But let's try it again. Now it's gone. Totally gone. Okay. This is a real case though. This is important because if you just know how to needle it and you don't know how to deal with the side effect from the needles, and that is so bad. <laughs> okay, now what are you going to do? I'm going to treat the organs. As I said, uh, any patient come in, I always treat the organs. I don't leave my patient go without treating organs, okay? I treat the organs. Again, I'm going to treat... Uh, the bihoi point. And bihoi point, I'm gonna do, uh, I think bihoi point in juice called VPF, right? So on this area, so I'm gonna do three different area. So go into that way first, then we're gonna go that way and I go to point directly to the back. Again, the reason I do this is because VPF can treat the whole body, the whole organs and the whole body. So I use it a lot, a lot. Okay, then I just go. If you find it go in a little bit harder, you can, while you twist the needle and you push it in. Right, that will be easier. Hi, Kara. Thank you. Hi, Golf. How are you? Okay, this is one needle in. Then I can treat lower jaw. Now, what lower jaw? And we have a lot of organs in lower jaw. Right? Kidney, bladder, small intestine, large intestine, or lower jaw. 
Maybe. So again, when I go to lower jaw, I go to that side first, and I go to the other side, and I point it direct to the back. Three different direction. And sometimes you accidentally pull out a needle. It doesn't really matter. You just, when you pull it out, just insert the needle again. Uh, I'm trying to do to the direction over there. Better use my other hand to push it in. It's easier. I'll pull out, then directly go to the back. Okay, that's lower jaw, right? Then we're gonna do, I'm going to do middle jaw. And the middle jaw is from the back to the front. The reason I do lower jaw and uh, VPF from the front to the, uh, to, or to the back is when I sleep on there, and the handle won't touch my pillow, right? So I won't get any problem for that. And AQKSA, very nice. You are Dr. M. Sashit, acupuncture from India. Thank you for leaving that. that. Timing to rest needles. I don't understand what you your question is. Yes. And if you go for lower jaw and middle jaw, and actually part of the lower jaw and middle jaw is crossover, maybe. <laughs> I don't know whether you realize it or not. Okay. Hi Aaron, how are you? Okay. Well, good. I got I got cover on my uh, middle jaw. Then I'm gonna go to um, upper jaw. So I go to the side. Go to the other side. <laughs> Good. And go directly point down to my nose. That's it. All right. Now, I didn't have any problem insert the needle here, but sometimes I do feel pain. Then um, I'm going to show you on here. When the scalp, any acupuncture, if you go in, you go slow and you feel the pain. When you stop there, if it touch the nerve or it touch the artery or veins, uh, because the artery veins <coughs> full of nerves in there, and when you hit that, the patient feel pain. And what do you do? You go back, you know, you pull it out a little bit and you change the di direction. Then it go, and you can keep going to that if that isn't here. Now if you can change the direction up and down or sideways. It's up to you. Like if I reach the pain over here, whoop, stop it, pull it out a little bit and change the direction and keep going, keep going. Okay, keep going. And then it, it no longer touching the nerve or, or the veins. And you can keep going because a lot of patients will feel pain when you needle it, they feel pain, and a lot of people say, stop it, oh, I don't know what to do, and you do it, and and some people say, directly push it in, if you push it quick, you don't feel the pain, no, the patient still feels the pain, don't do that, I, I won't do that, you know, I won't do that, I say, in case of right hemipyrogia, can best to apply opposite side or same side, it doesn't matter which side, as I said, if you can find as the point either side, then just use it. Yeah. In my experience, 
I explained it before. Doesn't really matter which side. If you can find the answer point, if your master said told you that it's gonna be on the same side, if you ask the point on the opposite side, use the opposite side, you'll find it very effective on the opposite side too. I mean, hi dear Sunan. Dr. Tan scalp for TMJ pain, please. Okay, good question. Please locate upper me or in lower jaw. Upper, lower, and middle jaw. Okay, good question as well. Um, it's best for you to go to Dr. Chu's class because he got class. And for me, easy to show you is the quick way, okay? Quick and dirty way. That's how I do it. So, middle. Uh, bai hui. Lower jaw from here. Middle jaw, upper jaw over here, then neck over here, right? And it doesn't really matter as long as you cover all over here. As long as you cover all over here, then it works. Upper, lower, middle. Let's say here, by Hui and Shen Ting. You have neck, upper, lower, upper, middle, and lower. You can do it equally, no problem at all, right? But that's not how Dr. Chu's will say that, you know? All right? But as, again, I'm not going to tell you exactly where it is because I need or I never put exactly where it is. And you can just separate all the point equally, and that's good too, no problem at all. You can treat it that, that way, okay? And you can Google and get those information yourself. Neck of face and head, the same name to Dr. Juice. Next over here, face over here. In front of the face line, that is the face and the head. That's better. TMJ, okay, TMJ is over here, the head one, okay, and again, when you come to TNJ, you want to explain to GB rather than to here, if to here, you're going to do a lot of dowing, but you can come to here, it work better, which is GB, all right, extend, because normally you will, ex you will find a point from the do to UB, but if you extend it to GB, you find it between UB and GB. Sometimes there are some points on UB and GB, and you want to cover those points. We're talking about trunk, even though we're talking about neck pain. The neck pain, we'll see the trunk over here. The shoulder is much wider than the neck, right? I know. I know. But I don't know why sometimes if you expand it to the GB, it work better if they, if you get a support over here and there's no a support in the middle or expand to the UB and but you get UB between the um GB and U, uh, GB and UB and between here and if you get any a support that you work on that it works better much better than that one you know um if you can get the answer point, if no answer point, I would suggest you needle here. If it doesn't work, you cover the area over here. You know, it's an image. As long as you cover the image, it will work. And if you just cover the image using a lot of needle, if you want to do this, it's up to you. Now, if you just needle it one point, you know, and you want to cover a few more points, and it's up to you if you want to do that. It's all up to you. And my, my, my technique is going that, that, that. Just use one, one needle, different direction, right? That's how I do it. Could you teach some Taoing to lower jaw and middle jaw? Taoing is simple, treating the organs, okay? One of the biggest Taoing is exercise, right? 
So Kara asked me, can you teach some Daoying to lower jiao and middle jiao? Daoying, when, if you have attended Dr. Zhu's skeptic acupuncture for the um, basic course, and the basic course, uh, uh, we mainly learn how to locate the area, right? And you see some case and how Dr. Chu do some Daoying. But I will tell you, any kind of movement, you can go and learn physiotherapy exercise. There's a lot on Google. <coughs> and the best thing for organs, my opinion, is do breathing. Right. Now, if needle there, and you ask the patient, breathe. If it's on the tummy, the problem's on the tummy, the organs in here, right? You want them to breathe in. While you needle, that's the Taoi, okay? And people know, we all, I don't know whether you guys know about it. If you want to treat the lung, you ask them to breathe in the chest as well, tummy. But there's another breathing is going to the side, you know, put your hand over here. You actually expand to the side. That's very difficult. And I can do it. I find a lot of people that can't do it, okay? But as you can see over here, okay, look at my hand over here. You see, expand in there. And it really doesn't really go to the front. You see, that doesn't move. And a lot of people can't do the belly button breathing. They always do in here. Okay. This is chest breathing. You see my hands coming up. All right. Tummy one. It's different. You see, my hand doesn't move in here. Breathing, bowing are the best. I teach my patient to do breathing, bowing. That's one of them. Um, the others, <coughs> treating the organs. When you needle the scalp, and what do you do? You go and pat the organs. You want to treat the spleen, right? Pat and ask the patient to breathe in. Keep breathing and you can step on the needles and just pat patting the organs. You're treating the liver, pat over here. Just patting over there. And you can pat with one hand and the other hand moving the needle. Or you can stop doing this and pat your patient this or ask the patient if just patting one side. So the patient pat it itself, and you do the needle. The patient can do the dowing themselves. Kidney, you just ask them to do this. And you do this. It's very simple dowing, you know. Or another dowing is you needle here, right? You put needle in there. Or you put needle on the legs or hand so you can do needle over here first, then you do the do needle on the balance method acupuncture. And that's a dowing too. And that's needle dowing. Okay. For uh for stroke pa stroke patient, if they can't sing, they can't they can't talk, then you want them to sing. You sing along to them with them, and that singing dowing. So Taoing is of many type, many kind, different kind of Taoing. Okay. Could you please show scalp point for Parkinson? Parkinson is on the hands and legs. You want to treat the hand and legs image. You can go online. Any scalp acupuncture can treat Parkinson. Then don't forget to treat the organs. Because all Parkinson patient come in, all stroke patient come in, they have organs problem. If you just treat the leg and hand, it doesn't work. You want to treat the organs as well. That's why I treat my organs all the time. If you haven't got the idea of organs are the root of the entire body, 
then you can't heal a lot of people. You want to understand one thing is all organs are the root of the entire body. So it doesn't matter what you use, you want to treat, make sure the organ is healthy, the organs better, the organs function, the organs are functioning. If the organs are not functioning, you keep treating the symptom, it doesn't work that way. When it works very well with acupuncture is because they have a good organ functioning. If their organs functioning are good, then you find that this all these patients are much easier to, to treat. They recover very fast. When it comes to organs imbalance and heal the organ, not just treating the symptom, that is very important. Okay, that's it for tonight. I'm going for sleep now. It's half past 10 right now, so I should go to sleep. And I leave organ needle every night. Okay, now I'm going to take out the one in here, just for my arm. I don't have arm pain. Okay, so just in case it caused any pain in there, I doubt it well because I leave the shoulder one. I did a video on Chinese treat myself on Chinese I treat myself every day and I go online every day for life one is English the other day is Chinese so tomorrow I'm gonna do Chinese something like that right every day so stay awesome and I love you all and I'll see you tomorrow a uh, live video for doing a uh, balance method acupuncture so subscribe to my YouTube because you can see on my YouTube I do live video every day on this platform or Facebook page, I do alternately treating myself and I put it in here because when I show balance method acupuncture for doing acupressure point, I actually uh, put this video on my clinic uh, Facebook page because this is showing my patient. But a lot of acupuncture join my uh, cl clinic page, Facebook page, and I do uh, uh show you how to needle as well all right so that's it for today and thank you very much and stay awesome and i love you all right put down your question and i'll answer next time and if you want me to show you anything anything at all if in my knowledge i have the knowledge to answer you i'll try my best all right thank you very much